Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dr. Pepper All-Star Hearthstone Tournament. Uh, I'm Dart, and joining with me today is Kungin. How are you doing so far? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're finally in the last grid now, and there is eight players left. And in total, there will be three series more than it's the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the final left. So we'll definitely see the better players now, and hopefully some really good games. Exactly. So for those who don't know, this is actually an open European tournament where the top four people of today will actually go on to play in the 16-person playoffs at the end of July. So in total, there will be four uh, qualifiers. One was two weeks ago. Then we have this one today. And then we have two in the following couple of weeks. One at in the middle of June, and then I think one in the beginning of July. So for those who are interested in playing, go to hs.drpepper-cup dot de to sign up the link will be on twitter if you follow either kungan or i um mine is at dart underscore hs kungan yours is kungan wow all right and so we are about like as kungan said we're about to get started into the round of eight so our yeah. first match is guamato versus livion We have not seen any of these two players so far. We have not, but I expect that they are both relatively well, either well ranked or skilled players. We've seen some... Livion is actually ranked four. Oh well, but who knows? It doesn't mean he's not a legend player. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm ranked fifteen right now, for example. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, you can probably play in this tournament and get to the finals yourself. Of course, of course. Win, win some of that <laughs> ever. <laughs> I expect whoever wins this tournament should get a year to live Dr. Pepper. That would be awesome. They should change it. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Pepper is really popular in the US, isn't it? It's not that popular in Europe yet, I think. Really? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, it exists in stores, but I honestly, I don't know a single person that have bought Dr. Pepper in Europe. That's a More or less. You should go out and yeah. buy a thing of Dr. Pepper right now. All 23 flavors. <laughs> oh, is there that many flavors? I think we only have one Dr. Pepper flavor in Sweden. No, no, no. no. It's, it's 23 flavors in one. That's why Dr. Pepper. Oh, really? Ah, I see. I see. <clears throat> Let's see. Can you name all 23 flavors? I wonder. Right. Oh, interesting. It, it is actually... The guy I knew that was in this tournament, but he did not make it to the top eight, sadly. He went uh, out in the really? last round. Yep. So it was your old uh, guildmate? Definitely. He played a rogue, yeah, back in World of Warcraft. Oh, So. It'll be an exciting game. So it looks like we have Druid versus an aggro mage or a uh, tempo mage. Yeah, tempo mage. Well, how did... What do you think about this matchup? Uh, I, I've played a little bit of Tempo Mage, but not enough to know how it runs against everything. It depends on what kind of deck you have as well. Uh, there's many different variations that I've seen. So I oh, think it's just... the version that Livion is running has quite an advantage against Druid, particularly mm -hmm. because the Mad Scientists just pop out the Mirror Entities. Yeah. Druids just don't have a good answer. To... Oh, just kidding. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that that changes everything. Yeah, Druid usually loses to everything that has a mirror entity. So <laughs> but if they have Cassandra, it's like... No, Dru Druid has no answer to mirror entity except that card. Yep. So I think I might actually have to give this game... Wow, the oh. mage has a really good start anyway, though. If you can play mirror, like, portal into... Oh, he does have to clear this though, but he, he should clear that actually. He should have four bounces and he just, he needs three to hit though. So the portal is going to get him... What, what card do we want? Something fun. That's not it. It's not bad, but I think mirror entity is actually... Whoa, both hit face. I don't think that's... Yeah. Since both hit face... You still think you played this instead of the water elemental here? I think I would have put the water elemental in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, uh -oh. me too. Is he going to fall into the trap of playing Kazan Mystic early? 
Oh wow, that would be... I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can either. Oh. Especially not with a hand he has, like Mirror Entity, give him a 5-5 five five or a Dr. Boom, that's not something you want to do. Well, this, this Emperor Thor's hand is really doing some work right now. Yeah. Holy crap, he's gonna play Lore's turn 5. But it, it's still wow. not looking that good, his hand is still really clunky. His is he gonna trade it off? Very, very clunky. I think he has to trade it off there. He can't let an Emperor live 3 turns in a row. Mana Doctor Boom, five mana Ancient of Lures. Oh, mm, yeah, it's looking pretty rough actually. Oh, he. Oh well. Hmm. Counter I, I don't even know, to be honest. What do you do here? You think it's just gonna freeze it and go face here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so again, that's a little bit unfortunate because then you just waste damage that could be on face on just freezing a minion. Oh wow, swipe pick up. Swipe is actually really strong right here with the bomb bots. What do you think about swiping? Um, the three two. Running a boom bot into the two two, and then yeah. I'll take what comes out. Mm. We can do pretty much the same thing, but this way. Yeah. Yeah, you play. I, I like that bat. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh wow! Now he gets the mirror into the not the counter spell. Would you take the watermelon, water elemental here, and take the fifty fifty? Yeah, I think you have to do kill the water elemental. I try to kill it at least. No? I would definitely try to kill it. 50% chance to clear board. Yeah, because now Dr. Boom just dies like that. I think Livion knows he's in trouble here. Yeah, the two lords for five is. That's insane. No. Did he steal it? Was it a counter spell? No, it's a mirror. It has to be a mirror, right? Because he has counter spell. It wasn't because it would have taken the uh, water elemental. Oh right! Wait, wait. Does he play double counter? Oh, now I'm confused. You're right. It is double counter spell. Oh, I've never seen double counter spell before, ever, in a mage. It's usually one either. counter spell max. I've never seen that. That's really weird. Why would he play double counter spell? It's strange. The tempo from Scientist Mirror Entity is just so strong, you don't get the same amount of tempo with a counter spell. Well, if he wild grows here, he can play Lore Belcher. And he can play Lore to draw. I think I would rather save the counter spell just for card. Yeah. I mean, he still has Belcher Shredder, for example, or Lore yeah. Shredder, so yeah. Maybe if he didn't have Shredder, then I would have to agree that counter or mm -hmm. the uh, wild growth would have been worthwhile, but. This Dr. Boom is not going to be easy to deal with. Unless you get Scenarius. <laughs> <laughs> but is that, is that correct, though? Versus Belcher. Scenarius is pretty great against the bombs, I'd say. Isn't it? I like going face, especially with the force of nature in hand. Yeah. Most likely he is running double savage roar, so I am a little surprised. We have not seen a single patron warrior. Um yeah, again, same I do here. plant with America, so I really have not seen uh the meta of Europe, but I'm wondering if Patron Warrior is not as prevalent. Well, it, it was it was the most played deck a few weeks ago, so I assume it's even more popular now. So I think everyone is playing Grim Patron on the ladder. It's just such a ridiculous deck. Oh wow, that was a really good bomb hit. Yeah, that was very good. Jesus. Wow, so... It looks like Livion is not out of this game just yet. I feel like that counter spell will do some work, especially because Mage really doesn't have that many cheap spells that they can just throw away. So, 
I guess you have. Yeah, I guess you lore for two and see what you draw here. Probably gonna trade off the. Is there any reason for him to go face here? No. Oh, if he draws Savage or there, yes, then there is reasons <laughs> to go face. But is he scared of dying here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he should be. I mean, he have to assume that he's running double frost bolt, double fireball. So the counter spell does offer some protection. Yeah. But if it drops the Belcher, how can the mage really kill him? Like, face Belcher, he can't really die then. I, I would, I would drop Belcher and go face when I have force combo here. Shadow Flame. <laughs> I mean, not Shadow Flame. Uh, that's totally a wrong card. Uh, flame yeah. Strike. Flame Strike. Oh, uh, do they usually run a Flame Strike though? Maybe well, one. They just run one. And I think that's what he's scared of. Yeah, he's going for the value trade. You can give up the unstable portal over a counter spell. I feel like the unstable portal may be what's necessary to come back and win this game. Yeah, he can't run that into a counter spell. Oh wow, he he knows that's a counter spell as well. That was a little bit weird. But I guess, I guess maybe he... maybe he wants the counter spell for the force combo that's gonna come up here. Does he take the 50? Oh, this isn't bad, because it either kills one or kills the other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 14 plus 7. Yeah, it's not lethal. 2 oh. damage off. Or actually, 1 damage off lethal. I was looking at the wrong life. 1 damage off lethal. I like Azur Drake in killing the 7 2 for a draw. I think. Mm, why not just use big game and do the same thing on the middle one and trade and you get. and you have board? You can play Azur Drake, big game, rat, and clear board, for example. That is actually true. Yeah, I think that's the best play. Is there any reason to say big game here? Guess, no, guess no. It's the only card he can be game, really. I don't think. I mean, they might run Rag or something, possibly, but that's it. So you definitely go face here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Will he get the Flame Strike to save him? Nope. Nope. Does he have any outs here? Wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, that's a ooh. really good draw. But it has to hit the right one. Oh, wow. That actually saves him from lethal. Wow. Does he only run Counterspell? Oh, didn't he get a secret before? No. Oh, really? Double Counterspell? Leon is running a Tempo Mage with no mirror entities, and it's just using Counterspells. Huh. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Me neither. But he, yeah, I don't think that's correct. But Livion, uh, he, I, did you see the rank uh, that Skumatu had? I think Livion was the rank four player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. He's got 15 damage. I think I would just charge face and Savage Roar here. He would get him to one health. Oh, wow. No, I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, if he gets him to one, I didn't see that play yet, but yeah, if he gets him to one life, that's definitely the right play. <laughs> I think yeah, he's yeah, yeah. a little bit too safe. Yeah, I six plus think, seven. I think Skumato has his game in the bag at this point. Mm -hmm. But especially with not only you still have boards. Oh, it did have a rag. Yeah, that's why I was considering saving the big game hunter. I don't think it'll matter at this point in the game, but. No, this game is over now. Force combo is enough to kill him. So it looks like Skumata will be taking game one of the series over Livion. His druid defeats Livion's. 
I have to say, interesting version of his tempo mage. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you always have to play two different secrets. I mean, you have to have three secrets in the deck, because otherwise, you know, it's very unusual for the scientist to get value, since you might as well just draw the secrets before the scientists. Now, I want to point out to some of the viewers that the reason I think... Actually, wait. So normally I would say the reason Skumato would hide his fourth combo just to kind of keep it secret for following games but in conquest uh match it's a little bit different where you just won't get to play that deck so maybe he just wanted to yeah. one way to win and charge some druids <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows he plays a force combo in that deck anyway it's only when you start seeing the what are they called the five ten taunts then you might be like oh maybe he doesn't run the force combo mm -hmm. like the slower taunt version of druid <clears throat> so, okay, this is always a real question, or an interesting question. If you are in Libyan's position, would you continue playing Tempo Mage, or would you switch to your other deck for the second game? Well, I, I didn't really like that Tempo Mage, so I would switch. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, he's got to win with it to move on. Yeah. So. We don't really know what his other deck is, so it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Again, I but I'm still surprised we haven't seen any Patron Warrior. That's just the deck I expected to see. Maybe, maybe in the semifinals, finals. I think there are some players there we have not seen yet. Uh, there is a lot of uh, familiar faces though. Rex and Kruja are still in it. Rex are as well. But we are in the round of eight, so I, I expect to see some really high-level play, if not this round, the next round. I mean, this is an open tournament, so some unknown faces are moving through. There were a few well-known players, actually, in this tournament. We've had... I saw Portex. Did you say Number Guy was in this one, or is that last one? No, that was the last one, yeah. I, I think there was some familiar faces uh, uh, in this tournament from the beginning. I saw Indiren. You know Indiren? I've, I've mm. seen that name around, uh, but I think that was the only name. Oh, Fresser, possibly Fresser and Indran. I think those might have been in this one, but it seems like they went out pretty early. But we have we have one player that's made it to the semifinal, and that is Rex. He has been. We've seen two games with him, and he's been playing really good so far. I assume he won that one with two zero as well, since he's already through. So he's Absolutely. gone eight zero in this tournament so far. And he's a very high. He was a relatively high-ranked legend player, so he's yep. definitely a force to be reckoned with. We should be getting into game two, just about now. Here we go. So he is playing the same deck against again. Seems to be a mid-range warlock here, demon mid-range warlock. It looks like the demon zoo deck with yeah. the white collars, most likely versus. Olivion's uh, pretty awesome. great starts for both action. players. Really, really good players. Start, uh, really good starts for both both players here. If he played Mirror Entity, the start would have been even better. Counter spell is not that great against Sue. That's true. So here's the situation that uh, Skumato's in right now. He doesn't know it, but coining out knife juggler is without a doubt the best move currently. Yeah. But if Livion happens to top deck or already had either um, Frostbolt or um, Flame Cannon, he would be severely yeah. punished by that play. So I think that's yeah. why he's hesitating so much to play the Knife Juggler currently. It's really, it's a really tough decision. Every, I mean, you, I, I've been in this situation so many times, and it's really, it's a really tough situation. But I think dropping the Knife Juggler is usually the better play here. Uh, especially if you force the mage to pink trade. Because you kind of have to get rid of that knife juggler. You can't let him trade for free into the 1-3. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't want to ping on turn 3 either. Oh, he's going to have oh. to ping on turn 3, kind of. Uh, that's awkward. Yeah, he's just going to get a free trade here, which is just not uh, what happened. If he had another 1-drop here, I think the game could have been over right away. So Skumato took a huge risk with that knife juggler, but it's paid yeah. off very, very well. Yep. This is this he put himself in a weird situation now because you Oh, and that's a great top deck. What? That's weird. <laughs> 
he had the opportunity to use Sorcerer's Apprentice, trade that off, get the secret, and use Unstable Portal. Yeah, he could have played two minions that turn <laughs> and get the secret up. That was a very strange play. I uh, I must not understand. Livion must have a different thought process than we do, but he made that move <laughs> very quickly. I'm not sure if he took the time to think of it or just knew exactly what he wanted. Yeah, that's something I like to point out. When you play tournaments, or if you do tests in school or university, you always want to take your time. Taking your time <laughs> is very important. Never end it right away like that. Exactly. Uh, just look at Life Coach. Uh, Life Coach has been one of the better players the last few months, and he definitely takes his time. Oh yeah, Rope Coach yeah. all the way yeah. to the end of every turn. But it's the same when I play. I mean, I usually play very quickly, but it's okay when you're just casually playing. But when you play a tournament, you should like definitely go through every single play before you do your turn. Mm -hmm. So I think this Defender of Argus is going to be very beneficial. Yep. So, so now he's getting a counter spell then, I guess? Which the only thing that I think the Warlock has in his spell arsenal is... So he can play three cards now. Yeah, he's. I think he sees the play now. So portal first, definitely. In case you get a good unit to play here. Having I that Sunny in out the turn previously would have been very good. <laughs> Unless he wants to just ping here, which I just can't imagine not taking advantage of the Arcane Intellect. Hmm. I mean, he he kind. I mean, I don't know if he runs the. Flame strike or not, but he he does have to contest the board against who if he doesn't run any kind of AOE. Because yeah. the second you lose board against uh, when you lose board when uh, when you don't have any board clear, you you lose the game right away basically. So I think Doomguard here would be correct in order to kind of just really take board control before mm -hmm. your opponent can actually flame strike because he is only on turn six. So yeah. by clearing the board with what he has at Doomguard. That just allows him to stay on top. Um, meanwhile, if he doesn't clear that 3-2, a flame strike could come this following turn, and that would quite easily end the game. Well, he need, if he doesn't Doom Guard, he doesn't really have a way to kill the Senyan, so I think he has to Doom Guard here as well. Senyan is really cock blocking him here. So he's definitely taking some time to think of this. This is an easy move to make. You never want to throw away cards like Game King Boss, but... But is he going to pass now? I'm not really sure about this. Can't I give the incentive to the mage now? You don't really want to do that. So he does trade here. Oh, just one unit, okay. <clears throat> the flame strike would just be such. I don't really like this play. I mean, he could have killed. He could have killed the Sendin and the Apprentice. Now he lets him cast so many spells for low cost. Ogre Magi with. <laughs> if he had a Flame Waker now, he would have been in deep shit, like with the oh, Dark Souls yeah. and other spells. So, I didn't really like that play from the Warlock. Oh, this Arcane Missile is buffed up. I wonder yeah. how to do it though. So I, I think you. Hmm. Probably want to trade the Imp Gang boss first, so you don't hit it twice with Arcane Missiles at least. I think so, but honestly I don't even know. I think maybe... Uh, do you ping? I was thinking about pinging that one. Why didn't he ping that? I am not sure. That's not so good. Great. Don't think that's how he wanted that to go. So, what can I do here? Well, everything has one life, so it's pretty easy to trade off. A knife juggler would have been very good here. Nope, no knife juggler. Oh, but that's, I don't know. 
See, by not using Doom Guard before, now he's probably not going to use the Doom Guard. Now it, yeah, it's or... getting worse and worse because now he's getting better cards on his hand. He really had a good spot to use Doom Guard here. He still had two cards left on his hand and three when he would draw one more. So, I guess he just slams everything here. Dealing with his opponent's Dr. Boom is going to be difficult. I mean, he has zone to use, but he has to be worried about because he is facing a mage who can very easily just burst him down with some fireballs. Yeah, you always have to be scared of the double fireball. Oh no! Thing. Yep, that's what happens when you don't play it in time. So. Oh, is he gonna trade Dr. Boom and play his own? Gonna Looks like it. Yeah, I think he's gonna trade everything off into that Dr. Yeah. Boom here. Yeah, I think that's the right move here. Get your own Dr. Boom on the board. I mean, Mage really needs a fireball to deal with that, or a BGH. Oh, that's... At this point, you just start going face and try to top deck. I, 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 I don't like... I think you should have maybe cleared the bombs before you did anything. Because now the bombs might kill us 2-3 here. Hmm. Ooh, implosion actually will be pretty good right here. Hey, wait, no, that's not true. He has Counterspell down. Mm hmm So I think he's forced to Doom Guard. Doom Guard tap. It's basically the only play. But the question here is at this point, do you want tap first? Oh, that actually paid off, but. Mm -hmm. But here, the only. Oh, that was kind Wait. of weird because only a one drop would have been good. <laughs> so he's not kind of Doom Guard then? I don't get it. Wow. So what if he didn't get a one drop there? Because <laughs> you kind of want to lose the implosion, right? Yeah. 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 So that was a little bit weird. Yeah, and I, I actually was going to say, I would I would have liked the ping on the Dr. Boom the previous turn, because then he would have killed it now with a ping, but he, he had the option to ping it last turn, but he didn't do it. Now he has to fireball it instead. So he could have pinged Dr. Boom here and fireball the other one. Uh, the guard. A mage against a warlock. <laughs> Warlocks have card draw, he doesn't. I mean, you can really see how much better mirror entity is in this game than counterspell. He would have had double mirror entity, and he would have stopped him from playing Doctor Booms and a lot of you know big units, even uh, oh yeah, even Doom Guards. Uh, the counter spells haven't done anything this game. I was sitting there. I honestly think the counter spells have, without a doubt, have cost him this game. I think you would have won. Yep, both games actually. Well, but the issue with the other game is it was actually stolen, so mm. his opponent. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I guess he can slam every. The only thing he really has to worry about at this point is Flame Strike, but he does have Void Color and the Egg, but he does not have a Demon on board though. Huh, that was a pretty good draw. Drake is always the draw you want to see when you have, when you basically have an empty hand. Exactly. Yeah. That was not a very good Arcane Missiles. Like he's just riding this game out, but at the same time, this warlock is getting low. Yeah, he's very, very he low. Flame imp, he can't really tap at this point. Mm hmm. Because he might have... be thinking the one card in hand right now is the second fireball. Does he play pyro? <laughs> yeah, he's been holding that card the whole game, so he has to assume it's some kind of direct damage, right? This is awkward, to say the least. Oh wow, he left the Drake up. Well, the Flame Beam can come out from for free at least with the Void Callers. Mm 
So it looks like we have a little difficulty. Do you see the mage's hand? Uh, yes, yeah, see, this does a counter spell. Trying to uh, figure we're out. Still not, we're really still on the warlock's turn right now, so he hasn't drawn anything new. You know, it's the mage's turn right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's frozen for me as well then. Yes, it looks like we had a little bit of disconnect. We'll get back into it in a second though. But the fact that the mage didn't play anything, I would have to guess that he may have very well gotten the fireball. So did he ping the face there? I actually uh, didn't see what he did. We have to see it. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, Sylvanas is not enough. Ah, oh, it was a flame cannon. And that will be it. Guamato will take the series 2-0 over Livion. Livion's mage just falling short of being able to take that win. I, I have to agree with you when you said the counterspell may have led to just the downfall of that deck. Having Mirror Entity just would have been so much more useful. Yeah, and the, the start he had there was really good, but he, he missed out on the on the Apprentice Portal play in the beginning. If he made that play, I think he would actually have won that game, because it was kind of even in the end anyway. Mm -hmm. So if he made that play in the beginning and actually got bored, he could have made beneficial trades instead of the Sioux player doing them. So taking a look <laughs> at our semi-finalists, we have Ruxar, who we've seen play um, a match. We now have Skulamato, who we just saw take Livion in 2-0 in his match. We have Rex, who we've seen. He was actually the first player we spectated. And then we also saw him in our third match take a game. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have Koi2. So four, I would have to say, unknown players who all have actually played quite well, all in Legend rank. So it, it's nice to see new people doing well in open qualifiers like this. Yeah, definitely. I think it's so two players we have seen before in the semifinals and two we have not seen. Uh, so far, I've been most impressed by Rex. Definitely, he's been playing really good, and also he's been playing. Well, he's been playing Handlock, one of the more difficult decks to play, and he's done it really well. I have to agree, but we are going to take a quick break before we get into the semifinal matches. Thank you all for watching, and tune in for more.